Welcome to Tempo. If you've just installed Tempo Timesheets for Jira Cloud, this video is a good place to start. Your organization can probably get going right away with the default setup of timesheets, but there are some key things that you need to do or check first. So that's why I'm going to walk you through the basic steps to help you set up timesheets for your organization. And just remember that you need to have Jira administrator permissions to do these next steps. So let's get started. First thing you need to do after installing Timesheets is to make sure that it is the time tracking provider that Jira is using. This will probably be the case if you just installed Timesheets, but if it's not, you won't be able to use Timesheets on your Jira instance. So let's go check. From the Jira settings, go to Issues. And then under Issue Features on the left, select Time Tracking. And yes, Tempo Timesheets is indeed set as the time tracking provider. So we're done there. Now you need to make sure that the correct employees in your organization can access Timesheets. By default, Timesheets is available for all users on your Jira instance. And that's who's in this user group. If that's your situation, you're all done here. But let's say that only certain employees in your company are going to be using Timesheets. Or you want only a few stakeholders to test out Timesheets before you roll it out to the rest of the company. In those cases, you'll need to change who's got access. So let's go do that now. From the Jira Settings menu, select System, and then click Global Permissions on the left. At the bottom here, select the Tempo Timesheets Access Permission, and then select the User Group from this list. I've already created a Jira User Group called All Tempo Users for this purpose. And you can see that this group now has access to Timesheets. As the tempo users change, I can simply add or remove them from this group, which is easy to manage. I can now remove access to timesheets for any other user group that doesn't need to use it. So that's all done. Now you need to grant certain time tracking Jira project permissions to all tempo users. Jira project permissions are managed by permission schemes, so I'll go to the Jira settings and select issues, and then go to permission schemes way down here on the left. The default permission scheme is the one that most organizations use for most of their Jira projects, so I'll open that one up. I could click Update here for each permission to grant it, but instead I'm going to click Grant Permission up here, and then enter the name of all the permissions that I want to grant at once. We'll take a look at what each of these permissions do in a minute. I'll check Group here, select my All Tempo Users group, and click Grant. And that's all done. So now let's go see what each of these permissions control. The Browse Projects permission is a really basic one that lets users see all the Jira projects and their issues. The time tracking permissions down here are used by time tracking apps in Jira, including Tempo Timesheets. The Delete Own Work Logs and Edit Own Work Logs permissions let Tempo users manage their own work logs but nobody else's. The other important permission here is called Work on Issues. Timesheets users need to have this permission for at least one Jira project to be able to log time on Jira issues with Timesheets. With these basic ones granted, all Tempo users can start logging their time to Jira issues using Timesheets.